Hey, this is Russ. Was the recliner chair the reason for my bad knee extension? <laughs> I'm beginning to think it might be. Okay, let me give you some background here. When I got my knee replaced, I specifically remember my doctor saying, don't put a pillow under your knee, okay? Because that'll ruin your extension, okay? You wanna keep your legs straight, okay? So I figured, okay, well, um, I can't sleep on the bed. Many of you guys know that, you know, you try sleeping laying flat on your back and you can't do it. <laughs> so I sat on the recliner chair the entire time. I, I uh, slept on the recliner chair, <laughs> okay? It was the only thing that, you know, you gotta be propped up a little bit and, and it was the only thing that would allow me to sleep, okay? And feel comfortable too, all right? So I figured, well, you know, the recliner has a section that pulls out and your leg is extended out, so I should be good. <laughs> Take a look at this photo here. Does that look like a straight leg to you? <laughs> I don't think so. That's because my foot hangs off of the recliner. And I think many of us, it's the same way. You know, our feet actually hang off the end of the recliner. And because of that, that kind of causes your knee to kind of buckle up a little bit. So is your knee actually straight? And the answer would be no, it isn't. So I'm beginning to think maybe by sitting on that recliner for so long, I mean, we're talking months I was on this thing. If I wasn't working on some type of exercise, I was sitting on that recliner, okay? And I was sleeping on it. Was that the thing that started the whole problem with the poor knee extension? All right. Now, this is probably not gonna be very popular for those who actually use a recliner chair. You're probably thinking, no, it can't be, no. Check your own extensions. Are you at zero degrees, all right? If you're not at zero degrees, comment below. Let me know. If you're sitting on a recliner all the time and your extension doesn't hit zero, maybe that's the reason, okay? So here's here's what I came up with. If If you elevate your leg a little bit, that should help keep the knees straight, all right? So what I did is I took a I took a folding chair, okay? And put a couple pillows on there and then put my foot on there. So that makes your 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 extended leg, your extended leg straighter. Okay? I'm thinking if I ever get that right leg replaced, then the knee replaced on the right leg, this is how I'm going to use the recliner chair, all right? So in other words, I'm not going to dangle it off the end of that thing. I'm going to re I'm going to pull it up. And and the doctor said to uh, put a pillow under the heel of your foot. Okay. That's really the best way to do it. So anyways, this is a fast video, but I wanted to make it because I wanted everyone to see it and also think about it for your own situations. If, you're, if your knee is not doing good extension, think about what you're doing. Are you doing anything similar to this where you're not keeping your legs straight? Like if you're laying on your bed or whatever, are you, it, hopefully you're not putting a pillow under your, your knee. I mean, it feels good that way, okay? But hopefully you're not doing that. Put it under the heel, all right? That forces the, the leg to go straight. Now that, that's more painful and it's, it's, it's not as comfortable. <laughs> really, it isn't. I know because I've gone through it. But I think you have to do it. I think this is what's going to help that extension. So now you know that, you know, I went through two MUAs. I, um, let me put my stats up here. Um, and you know that uh, I got my jazz unit back to help for an extension. That was the main reason jazz gave it back to me is to help me on my extension because I wasn't doing well on the extension. Uh, then, of course, I got it for my flexion, you know, because my flexion was reverting backwards and I got that back to normal. But um that extension, when the doctor went to the MUAs, we hit zero degrees both times. But when I got out of the uh, operating room, I, di I didn't get zero. <laughs> I didn't get deflection that he got. He got 130 degrees. I didn't get that either, okay? But let's just talk about the extension route right now. The second time I went through the MUA, my extension coming out of it was 20 degrees. Yeah, it was pretty bad. And then I worked on it at home myself, and I got it down to 10 degrees, and that's where I left it because then the uh, pandemic happened, and, and then I never went back to physical therapy again. So I left there at 10, and then with the jazz help, I brought it down to 8. Then I took two weeks off of the jazz and found that it went down to, to 5, <laughs> okay? So I think uh, it just needed a little resting time on its own, and it, it dropped down to 5. So I took it from 20 down to 5 with with the help of the jazz and, and pushing on my own. And today, I'm still doing extension exercises. I put my leg on, 
on the table, <laughs> on my computer table, and push down that way too. So I believe I'm, I'm under five degrees now. Um, it could easily be two or three degrees. I, I haven't measured it, but it feels better. I stand better. I walk better. So it, it, I know it's better than five degrees at this point. All right. I don't think it's at zero, but I'm, I'm happy where I am, I'm, but I'm still working it. Okay. But the more I think about it, I think it could be the start of all this could have been because I stayed on that recliner chair. Now, many of us buy them or have them, and, and we buy them because that's really the only thing we feel comfortable on <laughs> the entire time we're dealing with our knee. But think a little bit about, about it. Look at the photos. Think a little bit about it. If this is what's happening to you and your extension is not good, think about it. Maybe do what I suggest to do of, of putting um, the, the folding chair and putting some pillows there, which essentially is like putting your foot on pillows okay not underneath your knee and that kind of forces a downward pressure uh, which gives us uh, maybe better extension okay again let me let me give this disclaimer i'm not a doctor i'm not a physical therapist i'm just a patient myself and if you follow what i'm saying you take your life in your own hands like i always say that's my disclaimer um, but i think i might be right i really do so you figure it out yourself you use it if you think it's going to help you all right I'll talk to you guys next time.